You're probably wondering what's this beautifully colored refreshing drink. I'm going to talk about this in just a minute, but first I want to touch on something that may be on our minds right now. So about this time of year, we start to lose momentum. Our New Year's resolutions start to wear off. The gym isn't as busy, is it? And researchers actually say that by mid-February, 80% of our New Year's resolutions have failed. So I want to talk about that today, and I want to talk about the importance of self-discipline. So when we start to lose momentum, as a wellness coach, my job is to help my clients uncover what's at the root. What's at the root of why you're losing momentum? That's the most important question we can ask ourselves. Because when we create momentum, it usually starts with a commitment, and then self-discipline kicks in. And self-discipline is the highest form of self-love. And so I want to share with you today three ways that you can love yourself. Now, I'm not talking about some selfish form of love. I'm just talking about ways to take care of your body. So number one, love your mind. This is where the battle is fought and won. We know this. So it's important for us to take care of our minds. And one of the ways we do that is by loving our future version of ourselves enough to keep going with that momentum. So here's what happens. We commit maybe to taking out sugar out of our diet for the first three months of the year. And when that happens, we begin to have self-discipline because we are looking forward at the future version of ourselves, the less sugary version, the version that has a clearer mind, clearer thinking, more even energy. We're also comparing ourselves to the alternative. Okay, what happens if I don't continue on with this? Well, I am energyless. I don't have clean even energy. I don't have a clear mind. I don't feel good. That's what keeps us going. That's what keeps us moving forward in self-discipline. And in that, we are loving ourselves. Okay, the second thing is love your gut. No, this sounds silly, but our gut is our second brain. So if we're loving our mind, then we need to take care of our gut because it is the hub of everything else. And one of the ways to do that is to get adequate greens in your diet. Now, it would take me all day long to sit down and eat the amount of greens that are in this tiny packet. And I'm gonna tell you what this is. This is Arbonne's Green Synergy. It's an amazing product because it's got 30 plus phytonutrients with, from fruits and veggies. It's also got a prebiotic and a probiotic, so you're taking care of your gut. And it also has a vegan collagen builder. So all of these things in one tiny packet are going to help you keep your gut in working order. And the third thing, which is where this lovely drink comes in, is taking care of your body. Now, this definitely goes along with the other two, loving your mind and loving your gut. But taking care of our body goes deeper. We can be trying to eat a healthy diet, but not really taking care to boost our immune system. And that's where supplements can come in supplements like this. This is our Immunity Fizz, and this has elderberry in it. It has vitamin C, vitamin D. It has a lot of things that help boost your immune system. Other ways to do that is by managing stress. Maybe being hydrated. Some of us are so dehydrated. Taking care to manage those things is also taking care of our body, just like putting the right foods into our body is taking care of our body boosting our immune system is taking care of our body. So that's what this lovely drink is. It tastes amazing. It's like a grape drink and it's so refreshing. So three things that we talked about to love ourselves, to help promote self-discipline, love your mind, love your gut, and love your body. And if you need help and if you're struggling with momentum and you want to get to the root of why you're losing momentum, then reach out. My information at the end of this video, it's also in this newsletter. I would love to help you uncover that. And remember, self-discipline is the highest form of self-love. You guys stay well.